Hey y'all, I am ready for a new chapters one video. So I've got new books from Lift Bridge Books, which is over in Brockport. They have been open for online sales and have basically hand delivered things in the area, which is pretty amazing, but I'm glad that they found a way to stay open um, during our sheltering in place. We're in phase three now, I think, so they might actually be open for on-site shopping. So I'll have to check that out. Um, if you've got, if you live uh, close to Rochester and you've got favorite bookstores that you go to, drop it in the comments and let me know. I also want to hear about your favorite bookstores wherever you live. So feel free to drop that in the comments too. Okay, so the three books I'm going to read today. The way that chapters, let me start over. The way that chapters one works is I have three books and I'm not sure which one I want to read next. So basically I'm going to read the first chapter of each one and then come back in between and tell you what's happening in chapter one and what I think about it. And then at the end of that, those three breaks, breakouts where I read the first chapter, I'll decide what to read next. The first chapters one video that I did um, resulted in me reading The Witch of Willow Hall. Um, I'll put the link to that video. And it was a really good book, definitely recommend. I think I reviewed it in a later video, but um, it was, it was pretty good. All right, so here are the three books for the chapters one today. I actually don't know, don't remember why I ordered them. <laughs> and I'm just gonna read the first chapter. The first one is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. And I love the colors in this book. And it looks like it might be an LGBTQ book. So that was probably one of the reasons why. I bought it and it looks like it's YA. So that puts it kind of at the top of the list. If I was just gonna pick one, it would probably be that one. Uh, the next one is Emma Straub's All Adults Here. I think I've seen a bit of buzz about this one, uh, particularly in sort of like the book club circles. And then the third one, oh my gosh, the third one, I might just read this one. Elizabeth Acevedo's clap when you land i love her if you have not read um any of her other books just get on it i love her and then follow her on instagram because her curls are popping and um she's just the cutest ever so um this one um let's be honest i'm gonna read them all eventually but the question of the video today is which one will i read First, I'll be right back. I'm gonna read the first chapter of this one first. Okay, as usual, um, Elizabeth Acevedo writes in verse, which means it'll be a fast read. It's not uh, so much broken into chapters in a traditional sense, it looks like, um, but I read the first two kind of sections and um, the inside. So basically there is a plane crash that causes two girls, one in the Dominican Republic and one in New York City to lose their fathers. Um, and they basically discover each other as half sisters after that crash. Um, but the first couple of sections are about uh, the girl, I think the girl who's living in the Dominican Republic, who's helping her aunt to tend to an older woman who is dying of cancer. And this line is already something I would be highlighting if I was the kind of monster who highlighted books, which I am not. <laughs> it is, you do not let your words stunt unknown possibilities. I love that. Okay, I'm going to read the first chapter of All Adults Here next. Be right back. Ooh, that was a good chapter one. This is a strong contender, y'all, strong contender. <laughs> and main character, Astrid, um, is an older woman. She has grandchildren and um, the inside cover suggests that it's a coming of age story. Coming of age isn't just for kids. I love books like this. I think as I get older and older, I really enjoy books where the main character 
um, is someone who has sort of lived, had a career, raised children, and is still finding um, opportunities to uh, rediscover themselves and um, reflect on the things that they've learned and what they would like to learn next. So in chapter one, somebody dies, somebody that our main character doesn't even like very much, but she's kind of shaken to, um, shaken to think about not wasting her life um, because this person died suddenly. So I'm excited about this one too. All right, the final chapter one is going to be from Felix Ever After. And I'm really curious what my cat is doing. Um, I tried to get her for a cute picture and she jumped down and left and now she's back in the window. So I think there might be a chipmunk out there teasing her. <laughs> I'll be right back uh, with the first thoughts from Felix Ever After. All right. Felix Ever After is described as a firecracker of a book and chapter one is pretty good. So um, Felix and his friend are on the subway headed towards um, an early morning class for arts for art camp and um, his friends are pissed when he gets there um, because they're late. So um, I also read the inside sleeve and it says that uh, Felix secret, secretly fears that he is one marginalization too many black, queer, and transgender to ever get his own happily ever after. His name is Felix Love and he's never been in love before. Um, so the reason I read that is because I didn't want you to think that I was um, spoiling anything because he doesn't talk about being trans in the first chapter. Um, but a statement that somebody makes um, tells you that um, there's some underlying um, like stuff there between him and some of the comments that this um, used to be friend make about him that really pisses him off. Um, but I'm not spoiling anything and I can't spoil anything because I don't know anything beyond chapter one. <laughs> so it sounds like uh, there are some serious trigger warnings in here for um, transphobia and homophobia. So everybody should kind of be aware of that. Again, I'm getting that from the front cover. Um, so I'm definitely going to read Clap When You Land. I might actually see if this is available in audiobook. Um, I don't engage as well with things written in verse. That is a shortcoming of my own. Um, I will read this in print if I have to, but if I can find it read into my ear balls, <laughs> into my ears, that would be better. So I'm going to check that out from Libby first and see what they've got. So both of these are great books for June um, because they have themes of LGBTQ, um, but you know, they both also have the coming of age theme and um, the figuring out who you are theme and um, it's probably a little bit of the battling assholes theme. So um, I am still feeling a little bit torn. I think this one's gonna go a little bit faster. The words are not as dense on the page. Um, it's YA, which means that it's gonna move a little bit more quickly, which is one of the things I love about YA. Um, but this one also seems really good. I'm, I'm less likely to read a longer book or what feels like a longer book at the end of the month than we're only in the middle of the month. So I think that I actually might read All Adults Here first. Like I said, the first chapter was really good. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but then I'm going to quickly move into Felix Ever After. Um, immediate, probably immediately. Um, so I'm excited to read both of those books probably over this next week. I'm currently finishing up the audiobook Southern, what is it called? Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, I think. It's something like that. I'll put the picture here. Um, I'm enjoying that, but um, the title really um, seems leading. So like every time something happens, I'm like, oh, well, sure, oh, well, sure. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that there's a spin that I'm not anticipating. Because right now it's, 
it's one of those um, where like you're you're watching a horror movie and the scary music comes on and so um, you know that something bad's gonna happen but the the um, character doesn't know and and so it's kind of like that where I feel like I'm I'm I have already been told too many things about it just from the title um, but I'm liking it. it like I said it's an audio on Libby so I will probably finish that um, by Tuesday because audiobooks are my commuter activity um, for Mondays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, which are the days that I'm working uh, on site these days. Um, okay, I'm excited to jump into all adults here. If you've read this book, um, please, or Felix Ever After, or Clap When You Land, feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section. And please like and subscribe to this video and tell me what you think of this way of figuring out your next read. Talk to you soon.